that'll work. Right pipe, you say? Oh, that thing. What? The <laughs> hell? It's just yeah, right pipe. Shut up. It's down. Soldier upstairs. I'm bonking behind him. They're distracted. They're distracted. I have a sniper left side. Soldier right. Okay, so in this last little bit, there haven't been all that. Like, there hasn't been any decisions made. Basically, they've been just bleeding off players without saying, okay, like, we're suiciding, or if they're holding, there's no reason to be losing anybody. So I feel like this, like, kind of push hold thing do they're doing is a little bit misdirected. Like, if they're peeking the sniper, they should have their combo protecting the sniper and giving him buffs and being there to frag people who jump on him, like that soldier. Or if they're peeking out with a scout or soldier, it has to be for a reason, like to try for a pop or try for a pick. And to do something like that, they need other players to coordinate with them. So this is kind of just like solo activity time. And now they've opened up a pretty large opportunity for the other team to come and take this point back. We'll see if they do. They're we coming in, over, I but they're coming yep. in. We're two down. Back up, back up, back up. I can't back up. I'm yeah. dead. All right, I'll see oh, you. Oh, nice. I'm on the point if you ever need me. We need you to move up a little bit. So if you're dead. Hmm. Demo's down. Sniper on the left. We good? I'm gonna try and crash left. They only have three up. We have five. They have I got one the sniper. up now. All right, I'm reloading. Watch the tank. Oh, my God. Cap point. Push in. Alright, let's be super, super aggro. Yeah, this is kind of I working. guess we're doing it. I was playing aggressive more, it's funner. And I don't think they're gonna extend, so. Our server. It's our server. I just oh. did. I just How did. dare you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just let the comms sync up again here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so polite to ask, but it's our damn server. Demo 32, solid jumping. Aggressive. Oh my god, demo. Demo down. Soldier jumped on me. Medic down. Alright, that soldier's not too He's good. He's dead. Either. Team down. That's wipe. Go. Somebody move up to second. I'm going. Scout should go or something. I'm going, I'm going. I'll stay for you or something. I love you. Awesome. See, now, uh, one of the things that Shadow asked me about from this demo was why they seem to do so much better on Grand Mid when they play aggro as opposed to like playing defensive or whatnot. And as you can see there, that's exactly what he was talking about. They just totally wipe them only losing them out on Grand Mid. Basically the reason for that is that if you have a focus on their fragging classes with your uh with multiple like soldiers or demos or whatever and you just ignore defending your medic you can take a health advantage on them because they have to waste some time killing your medic and it's going to take the other medic like six to eight seconds to make up for that health difference so uh, in six to eight seconds that's plenty of time to wipe their team on a uh, uh, fast paced grand mid where you know every where everyone's going to be so essentially what happened is they didn't waste any time with split fire like having their roamer try to make a play while their pocket was trying to focus on the soldiers jumping on uh, shadow so as a result the other team went down like one after another really quick and while they lost their medic in the process that's pretty much the way to play grand mid is just you can roll through it just by wm one ing and baiting the other team into focusing on your medic because if they make the mistake of doing it then uh, you have that health advantage I was talking about and if you uh, 
if you play with more defensive medic, you don't have the ability to get as many heals in. And honestly, on Grand Mid, if you're even remotely inside mid, like at the front of Garage or in corner, you're just as vulnerable to being jumped as you are on the point. So it's better to move up and let your focus fire come and say, who cares if your med goes down. Let's back into it. Oh, I just assumed you were dead. Fuck. Oh, you are? Okay. I am. I just wanted to make sure things were, you know, the way they come, should be. Come oh, meet God, me a little more because, next yeah. No, I now, let's see if, contrary to the last round, since they're coming into this uh, four point with zero, zero Uber, this is a really nice time to take some advantage of fake pushing or suicides uh, to make a play, but... And I would really like to see some coordinated multiple bombs here, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what they do. Um, maybe a little more. Okay, good, good, because if you had forward spawn, that would have been horrible. Don't just worry, I'll read your mind. We have this chemistry thing going. Yeah, oh. let me jump away right now with this soldier right here on the right side. Alright, so apparently my game crashes every time I try to load any point farther in the demo than that. So I suppose that's going to wrap up this first commentary here. Technical difficulties galore. So just to finish off, uh, I can just discuss basically like the, o the big picture behind what they were doing. And I mentioned this a few times throughout the demo, but the first thing that I would try to improve is just having their combo be fast when they're pushing with an advantage. If it's a slow thing and they're trying to like suicide in and open things up so that their combo has the option of backing up if it's going wrong, then sure, have an aggressive flank. But when you're pushing with advantage, you need to make sure that you're not giving away your advantage by engaging into sm like disadvantaged fights. So, uh, basically it's a mix of you can't be running into a 1v2 or a 2v3 as a flank player when you're pushing because of a big numbers advantage or uber advantage or whatever. You need to be waiting for your combo to get in there and open things up for you. Uh, and on the other side of it, uh, as a combo player, you need to be like really fast. I mean, in that demo it was kind of a mess because their medic was taunting all over the place and they were slowed down on a lot of pushes by that. But just in general, they have you have to watch uh, where where you take steps, because if you are going to capitalize on this tiniest little advantage, then you need to be beelining the door like really quick. Otherwise, it can just slip away from you, and you could miss getting a round that could have made the difference in a match. Um, so other than that, uh, they had a few problems. I th I think more prominent in the early rounds. I noticed it less later where uh, the flank was way too much in the fight and as a result they took more damage than they had to which sometimes led to them really getting punished on it and losing points that they shouldn't have so i think it's really important for like even if it seems like you can just roll through and you're just coming to the medic for low health if a push is in progress uh, you can go in with low health from another door and that's acceptable because hopefully you have a good enough picture of where all the enemies are that you're not going to be running into somebody and dying right at the start of the fight uh, whereas you know that there's going to be a focus on your combo no matter what so you're just gonna uh, get an even worse health disadvantage if you cluster too many people up you can pretty much ignore that if the demo's dead and the soldiers don't have a good position, but uh, if they do, then you certainly cannot uh, push through the same direction your combo is. Um, on the calling, I didn't uh, point any of this out during the demo, but uh, I think their calls are pretty solid with Shadow leading and like calling pushes retreats and whatnot but I think uh, a few things that they could improve in their call department would be to be m more thorough like make a call early and then go with it rather than kind of doing a wait and see to tr like 
see what's going on, maybe. Like, I can think of one occurrence in Yard when they already had both soldiers in the air at the enemy medic, and there was a call to do a retreat at that point. And that retreat w turned out to be an incorrect call, because even if the medic hadn't dropped Uber, they had such a nice position on the enemy that they could have just rolled on through. So uh, I think in that situation, if they had wanted to not commit, if they had actually had a disadvantage, which, have, which would have uh, led them to suffering if they had committed, uh, the call should have been made to peak it slow early, rather than kind of walking in the yard without a clear plan of what was going on, and then having an aggressive bomb which could potentially leave your medic alone. Uh, I think a better call there would have just been to say, go aggro, realizing the position of the enemy. And that kind of leads me to the other point about their calls, is it's almost entirely based off of number advantage, and not so much off of health or um, positions of players. Like, uh, going back to the yard call again, the reason that he called for the fallback is because there were four uh, from his team up and five from the other team up, but two of them were spawns from like the last l three seconds, so they weren't in the fight, and that's why the push works so well. Well, that and the drop duber, but uh, putting that aside, uh, you can really speed up your game and punish teams more for the way they're playing if you uh, pay attention to how long it's been since their spawns were up and what classes it were. Like if it's a scout, then yeah, you can pretty much assume he's going to be back in it right away. But if it's a soldier, he has to come in with low health and a lot slower. So you can pr essentially treat like the 4v5 that they had as a 4v3 because the soldiers couldn't possibly get back to the medic fast enough, so uh, it was there was nothing to lose from pushing in that situation. <coughs> um, and regarding pushing off of health, uh, you can help your medic out with this just by calling like non any non-trivial damage you do, like demo 150, demo 100, uh, soldier took 150, whatever. And he can kind of keep a tally in his head going, because he has a really good picture of how much damage you're taking. So if you're calling that damage, then your medic can make a call like, our health is better, let's roll these guys, or our health is, like, despite the damage you've done, our health is bad, we can't do it. And as a medic, you can kind of uh, estimate this based off the sounds you hear from the other people's hits that are going on as well as just the damage you see from the person you're healing. And also, to some extent, mainly on mid-fights, I would say, for this, you can gauge it off of the amount of time that has been going on in the fight. Like, if uh, we're s I say well, I'm playing house on Badlands mid, I get out to train, and everybody I see is still white health after, like, three seconds, four seconds, unless... Uh, it's a massive fail mid, and both teams have just been totally missing their shots, which I know will not be the case if I'm paying attention to what I hear uh, in terms of like cries of pain and the damage numbers I see from my pocket uh, on the other team. I can make the call that our health must be better because uh, generally like four seconds into a Badlands mid, like people are like all down in red and the frags are going to start coming, but situations like that, you can realize that your health is overwhelming and you can just run right over them. And uh, I would say that their calls are very solid, but if they take things like that into account, the health, the position, uh, e even, you know, if you want to get down to it, the ammo, I uh, don't mention that one because by the time that you're good enough at calling health and position that you're able to also call off of the amount of stickies the demo had down. The demos you're playing against are good enough that you're never going to catch them unloaded on a push, so <laughs> that one's kind of neither here nor there. Uh, so, what else? Uh, I think that was that would pretty much cover it, so hopefully this has been informative and hopefully, you know, 
the bit of video lag that I know I was having with my game chopping up from time to time, and the bit of desync on the comms I got from all those start stops, and again, the game lag uh, didn't make this too painful. So hopefully I'll be publishing more like these in the future, and I'll catch you guys next time.